Capricorn. So what is this feeling? What is this feeling? Is it giddiness? Is like what? Like what is it? It's it's. <laughs> I understand. Like, no, it's not too good to be true. Yes. Okay. Let me go back. It's too much. Capricorn. Um, this is this is your reading. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries, and it is for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising or wherever it's for wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies, and uh, or if you're dealing with a Capricorn, okay. Um, there's a spirit guide and angel messages channeled through me to you at the end of each of these zodiac readings now so please do stay tuned until the end and of course there's the extended which is the full tarot card spread and your romance reading let's get right into it i just i'm a little i'm giddy i'm giddy <laughs> and yes it's scary why is it scary because it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not stable. You're walking on sand. You can feel it give way a little bit underneath your foot. Um, it's exciting. It's hot. It makes you want to run. It scrapes a little bit. But the intensity of the feeling of the experience is what's making it you keep walking, you keep going. I just felt some cold water splash up to just ease out the sand a little bit. And yes, there, there are footsteps behind you that are now washing away. And there are footsteps to be made in front. There's more sand in front of you. And the only certainty is this melding underneath you to your feet. As your weight shifts, so does it. It's not rock hard. There's not a solid. And that is not comfortable for you. But you're not in a bad place. And you're not uncomfortable. And the way ahead is clear and the skies are blue and it's beautiful and the sand is hot. Which is just reason to keep going or to stay by this cooling water. I just keep seeing cooling water. There's a lot of Piscean energy here on the spread. So there is a sense of this mutable energy, these contrasts, because you are so cardinal. You are so cardinal, Capricorn. And so there is that sense of being uncomfortable because you're being asked to act outside of your character and outside of your behavior. You're not unwilling. There is a fascination here for you. There is, um, but I could want this. You don't want to build your house on the sand. You will be very clear about that. You will not build a house on sand. But you, I don't think you ever really realized how close to the sand you wanted to be. How close to the water you wanted to be. To an ebb and a flow. As opposed to what is predictable. There is a sense of not fully wanting to admit it, so I will admit it for you. I want the unpredictable. I don't want my life to be predictable, but I do want to know who I'm sharing my life with. I, it's not about predictability, it's about reliability. And I think this beautiful sensuality that you're discovering is the reliability of the tide the reliability of the sand. Yes, it gives under your feet, but to meld into the right places, not to abandon you. It's filling in to cracks instead of just pushing against your foot. It's filling into the, the curve and the lines of each of your steps. And even though those steps in back, they're not permanent. They're not in cement. You're not gonna be able to see them a 100 years from now. What you will be able to rely on is the sand and the tide. So there is this reliability outside of you. So there is a sense of this is a time of faith for you right now. This is a time of a great need of you to not 
repel or push away discomfort, but instead open yourself up to what you can learn from it and how it can broaden you and expand your life. Because if you have been finding difficulties and constantly hitting brick walls, I can guarantee you, Capricorn, it's because you built the brick walls and you're butting your head against a boundary that you built. And when you build something, it's firm. So when you come up against your own energy, there is that sense of push. I designed this wall. Why can't I be happy? Because I keep building walls that keep obstructing the happiness on the other side. And this is why you are now willing to entertain or converse with the discomfort. A different way of doing things. A different way of being consistent. I'm reminded by a line. It's very famous. It's from Romeo and Juliet. Juliet says, Swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon. Least your love prove just as variable. And I remember reacting to that line. And maybe because I am so Cancerian. Thinking the moon isn't inconstant. It goes through different phases, but the phases are reliable. It doesn't have the same amount of brightness in the sky, you know, every single night, but the cycle of those different phases is the reliability. It is the constant. The variability of the moon is the moon's constant. It's what's consistent about it, that it will always change. And that if you watch it and pay attention, you can see that the changes have a reliable pattern to them. So the reliability here is not in the tangible resistance to change. It is in the acceptance of change. And I said that so many times so many months ago, I said that you're, you were going through almost like a mini dark night of the soul a few months ago. And I said, that's because your relationship with change is changing. What is changing is how comfortable you feel with change and how comfortable you are with things not being set in stone. You know why Capricorn? Because when Saturn goes back into Aquarius, it's going to be there for two and a half years. It's, you're not going to have that constant that you have with Saturn and Capricorn. You're just not. It's going to be a different way of dealing with the world. And so we got a little really a big just uncomfortable period in the beginning of this year because Saturn for a brief period retrograded and it was in Aquarius. So there was that a lot of shit was flung again. Like that's when the pandemic, like the pandemic struck and... Like, um, I feel like at the end of it was when Black Lives Matter started to happen. It felt like the whole world was coming apart because when people like, it's almost like when people are, when it, it's the way people react when whatever was their platform that they depended on is taken out from underneath them. They react in an extreme way. They react in an extreme fear, extreme incapability. When in reality, you are capable of dealing with this environment too. The sand has a lot of great aspects to it. So it's just about learning about that new, more malleable place that you're in right now and figuring out the patterns that are the constant. I'm telling you right now, the constants of where you're headed are in the patterns. It's not in the platforms. It's not. It's 100% in you learning these new rhythms. Oh, so much change going on in your life right now. There's major Piscean energy coming through and it's really lovely and it's it's very determined and uh, very aggressive for Piscean energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Piscean or it's just Piscean energy, excuse me, energy in terms of aggressive mutable energy. Mutable energy that doesn't want to work, mutable um, want to wait. Mutable energy that is very much sure of itself. 
and certain of the direction that it wants to head in. And there is that sense of there's a lot of floppiness with mutable energy. It's almost like if you've ever seen ribbons, especially ribbons underwater, you see, you see like, where's the constant there? How can that be certainty? It's certainty in its presence. It's certainty in its presentation. There's certainty in the flow that's happening in giving over to the flow. This is watch and wait. Well, you don't have to watch and wait anymore. Answers are here. There is, this is almost impatience. This is a sense of, no, I want to move forward. I'm, I know I'm where I want to be. I am certain. I am absolutely certain. I'm so certain that we're not going to wait anymore. This could be paternal energy. You could be dealing with a father figure. You could be dealing with somebody who has grown, um, has grown impatient or grown, um, I don't know, I keep saying impatient. I don't think it's impatience. I think that, that, that I think that something is flowing now. It's if it, you don't have to wait anymore. That's what I, I feel because impatience is an, there's an implication of sort of um, imbalance there, like uh, like something's missing. I think there's there's nothing missing. I can see it by the next card. It's it's so certain of itself. This is Taurus energy. This is we can overcome any obstacle. So this is a sense, and this is almost like the energy crowning your reading. There is a sense that that of such certainty that you just want to head straight headlong into something because it just wants to move forward it's certain of itself there is emotional stability here there's financial stability here there is predictability here in the way that it's direction in its direction its trajectory in its purposefulness Somebody has so much purpose now, Taurus or Pisces, I don't know which one you're dealing with, but there's so much purpose and practicality. And yes, there is a sense of risk. And I think that that's where maybe the impatience was coming up in me constantly. There is a sense of risk right now, but it is, it's almost risk that you want to just throw yourself into because things are so good right now. There isn't a sense, I, I want to run right in. I want to run right in. I don't need any more answers. I don't need the fucking architectural plans. What I need to do is stop planning and start moving. So this is a time to make waves or to take steps forward, Capricorn. 100%. If you were... If you were feeling insecure about this or you were wondering about this, like, you know, stop, stop trying to get any more information. You have all the information that you need. You can absolutely move forward. And this is don't wait. This is a sense of prosperity lies ahead. Don't wait. Ugh, why did it take me so long to get to that? Don't wait. Pros prosperity lies ahead. Trust in this moment. You must. Love is in the air and it's all around. Singing your praises, just, just spewing it out. Love, 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 love. Hearing it, feeling it, like being able to absorb it and loving the sound. There's a sense of loving the sound, loving what you hear, loving the sound of somebody's voice or being serenaded, music to your ears. This sense of being in a musical moment, high romance, a beautiful, just feeling love and feeling it all around you. But it's a sound. It's a vibration. It's not necessarily something you can tangibly see, but it you can feel it. And this is what, because Gemini energy is mutable energy too. So mutable energy is more about feeling. It's not about building. It's about understanding. It's about intuitively receiving. So you are hearing all these messages of love. And I think it's giving you a little bit of agita because you want to see some constants. You want to see some, but that's your old self, right? That's your sense of, okay, I want an engagement ring in front of me. Or, okay, let, let's see some paperwork on this. Right now, there's just a sense of happiness and joy. And there's a little bit of a, but that's not enough for me. I don't want to be stuck in the in-between, you know, this is a sense of embrace the in-between. No, no, no. There's no in-between here. In other words, there's no ambiguity. This is absolutely certain. You know, if somebody is telling you they love you, they mean it. If somebody is saying, this is good advice, you got to take this opportunity. It's good advice. You need to take this opportunity. There's no room 
for ambiguity right now, Capricorn. That's that sense. And there is still hesitation in you. I know it's almost like you're like, I need more information about this before I make my decision. I feel underwhelmed. There is a sense of um, not knowing enough, not having enough wisdom, not feeling like you're wise enough. You feel like you don't know enough in order to construct what you need to construct. You feel like you have not received enough information. That is not true. You have all the information that you need. That's what the universe is saying to you. You don't need any more information. Anything now that's going to come to you and teach you, Capricorn is going to come to you during the process. You have to, there's, there's no more learning you can do. You earned your bachelor's, you earned your master's, you earned your PhD. How much more fucking school do you want to see? You, not, you can't stay in school anymore. The only learning that you can have from this point on is in actual doing is the learning that comes from experience. There is a lack of wisdom. That's true because what is wisdom? Le wisdom is experienced intellect. It's intellect or knowledge gained through experience. Yes, you are not experienced. You are just starting out. But if you want to learn any more, you've got to now take the next steps because there's no more preliminary knowledge for you to attain. The, the rest of it is just about doing it. That's, that's, that's the gain. The gain is in the doing it now. The gain is in the activity. So if you want more knowledge, you just have to jump into it. You're not jumping in. You feel like it's over your head. You're not over your head. You, you can swim. You, you can float on your back. You, you know enough now to start. Turn knowledge into wisdom. It's, it's like leading me right in. It's like the cards are just speaking so clearly. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Turn what you've already learned into what you can do with what you've learned. And this is Piscean energy too. It is by moonlight. It is not in full sunlight. So it's still sort of amorphous, but it's waiting for you to give it structure. It's waiting for you to give it the direction. And I think that's the piece of this architecture, this uh, blueprint that you're not counting. You and your part in the building. In the, It's all up to you now. There's no more that can be just given to you. Now you have to start doing something with what's been given to you and believe that the decisions that you're going to make are going to be good ones. And they are, or people wouldn't be handing over the blueprints to you. This is the time. This is your time to start moving forward. Even if it is into unknown te territories, trust these detours, trust these curves. Be more like sand because remember, Sand is like Virgo energy. It's that mutable energy, but it's still earth. So trust sand just flows into those crevices and then it flows out. It has a flow to it. Trust it. Flow. You can still be earth and flow. Even the plates um, feel an earthquake. They move. This is a time for you to move and it's in the least destructive way. There is a sense of be that sand. Be that, be that mutable motion right now that is just going one step at a time and trusting in these unexpected direction changes because there are going to be unexpected direction changes you do you're correct the cards confirm you're right there's going to be unexpected stuff that's going to come up it's something you can't handle spirit has your back god has guided you this way you think that he'd put you in the situation just to see you harmed again? No. He put you through the harm. He put you through the hurt. That was your prep. That's over. Now you got to live. And this is that Capricornian energy of it's confirming this is the right decision to make. This is the time to make the decision. The timing is right. The decision is right. The circumstance is right. Be uncomfortable. Because what you're uncomfortable right now, right now what you're uncomfortable with is happiness. Maybe you haven't felt this for a really long time, but it's there for you as long as you don't reject it. And look at what I got on the side. And this card popped out. I needed to shuffle. I needed to find one more. There's a little bit like a missing piece of this energy. 
this is this is Virgo energy. This is that mutable energy of being that mutable earth, but it's also planting the seeds. That's what you're doing right now. Just because you don't see the oak tree now does not mean the oak tree isn't there 30 years from now. This is your time to plant seeds. Plant these seeds. This is a good investment. Invest in this future. This is a good place to start to decide, I can grow here. I can grow from here. I can grow with this. But you've got to be the one to plant the seeds. It's got to be your choice. That's the tangible here. It's in, do you believe in the moon? Do you know that full moon is going to come again do you understand that just because it disappears for a couple of nights doesn't mean it doesn't reappear this is your sense of now you staking the claim and setting something in sand that sand will turn into something solid through your building and your commitment to it it's just in identifying the potential and there's a lot of potential here. There's so much potential here. Let's see what the angels and your spirit guides have to say. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I need to shuffle once more because a little bit more needs to come out. <laughs> yep. Okay. So these are your spirit guide messages. What does spirit want to say directly to you? Th these cards have their own voice. And uh, they always amaze me. They're the same ones I use for my dailies, if you've ever been on my dailies. I just can't. <laughs> it just gives me shivers. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Middle path. Embrace both sides. The middle path is the road to a balanced and more peaceful life. Now, there was a sense of embracing in between, remember, and it came out in reverse. So there is a sense of... Um, this is where you began. This is where you started. You started on the middle path, remember? And this is a continuation of that same harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be, as long as we understand. So in other words, what, what the angels are saying, do you remember? Do you remember Capricorn? When you were just introduced to this person or the situation? How there was something in you that wanted to still learn, but it was very difficult to learn because it was hard. They were very different from you. But you invested in learning their language. You invested in understanding them and reaching out. And now it's becoming more like home. Do you remember? Do you remember that you decided? And that's what angels want you to know. It was in your decision that made this possible. And so keep deciding. There was so much power in your decision. You brought, you brought the consistency. The consistency doesn't, you, the stability didn't have to be there. You, bought, you bring the stability. That's what you were invited there to do, is bring the stability. Do you remember? This is that situation that the angels are reminding you of. That you decided to see the other side of things, listen and hear. And in order to figure out what you were working with, what materials am I working with? I'm going to do something with these materials instead of looking for materials that are more familiar to me. There is potential here. I know it. And it was in you knowing it and you deciding that made it something special. Miracle. Oh, whoa. Our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. I know right now things are in transition and they seem crazy. 
It's in the commitment to that crazy situation that's going to make something beautiful out of them. And love is the end. It, it, it's, no, it's the end result. It's the result. Love is what you're building here. Because faith is a pathway. And it's a pathway to love. Faith is what gets you to love. You decided to have faith. The only When you travel the pathway of faith, love is where it leads. Prayer. So beautiful. 2525, divine counterparts. No matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. Ask. We are listening. Keep praying. Keep talking to the angels. They want to know what you want. They want to know what you expect in terms of uh, what they want to know what you're building because they're your primary contractors, right? They're the one, tell them your plans, speak to them, ask for help. See, like, I, I need, I need overtime now. I need overtime. They will work overtime. They are all, they just want you to know they are all around you ready with their pickaxes and drills and everything. They're ready to work for you. You need to just keep talking to them. They are listening. Do it now. And this is the card that gave me shivers when I saw it. Because it's literally angels saying, maybe Michelle didn't make it clear. Let me make it clear. Do it now. Don't put it off any longer. What did I say? This is that sense of, it doesn't, it, it, no, the time is here. Don't put it off any longer. Make the choice. Take this chance. Have courage. Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul. Remember your intuition is not 3D. 3D is what you are. 3D is the constant. It's the laws of physics. It's the solid. It's matter. But your soul is 5D or whatever you want to call it. Your soul is fluid. So that is what you're being called to follow is your soul. You've been listening to your soul song. Keep listening to it. Because this is a time to let your soul guide you. But you got to do it now. Achievement. What did I say? You guys are on a roll, man. Ooh, take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. It is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honor and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. You built it. If you can get through all that, look what's ahead. Just beautiful stuff. Peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love. That's where you're headed. And peace will follow. So do you want love, Capricorn? Do you want to love what you do? Do you want to love who you are? Do you want to love who you're with? Make the decision to. Make the decision that it's love and everything will start to fall into place. Archangel Raphael. Feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. So if you have been... Close your eyes. You've been seeing little green lights or flickers in front of you. You've been, you've been, the color green has been popping up a lot. It's because Archangel Raphael is in your presence. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust, you are so on the right path now. It is giving me shivers. Let's go to tarot see what the extended has to reveal for you. I'll see you guys over there.